Good day ladies and gents, I've got a couple of news for you today, but before we get into the news, let me share my new PC upgrade which I'm really excited about. I got a new camera and this is how it looks like. And it's gonna give me lots of different opportunities to make videos. I also plan on making Tarkov food videos. I will be showing you different, different Tarkov items, we'll be trying them out. I'll be sharing their background, how it tastes like and all of that stuff. So let me know down in the comments below which items you would love to try me first and secondly i guess this whole thing answers the question from my last video when i said that like yo listen uh i can do background gameplay if you'd love to see some and some of you said you don't mind background videos at all um they they have a personal touch some of you said that you, you like focusing on my face because you can actually focus on what i'm saying um so yeah maybe we'll do a bit of both maybe i'll just do a full face cam because right now it looks mwah, chef kiss and let's get straight to the news Alright, first news for today is that the GL GP25 launcher is actually glitched. Even though on the nades it says that they explode within uh, 25 meters to 30. And that's not true, they actually explode really close to you, they explode within 5 meters. And if you try your best, you can actually kill yourself in the game. Uh, let me show you a quick clip. Alright, we put a Vogue nade in our AK. We select the GL. And this is clearly not 20, 25 meters. It's clearly not. This is like, what, six, seven? Another thing which I would love to mention is that the bosses have been buffed. All the bosses spawn rates have been buffed to 10%, as well as the goons have been buffed to 7%, I believe. Uh, I think a couple of content creators mentioned that yesterday. However, they didn't mention that the cultists were also buffed. I'm not sure about the percentage, but I've been told that cultists spawn more often now. And if any of you have met them, please do let me know. And typically, BSG do tend to buff, to buff the spawn of bosses as the wipe progresses. So in the beginning of the wipe, it's extremely low, so people can do the quests and people, well, the usual quests, and people can't proceed too fast uh, by farming the bosses, doing all the high tier quests. And as we progress through the wipe, BSG tend to up the percentage spawn for the bosses, the goons and the cultists, so it becomes easier and the game it becomes easier to find them and the gameplay changes. So if you still can't find them, I guess we can wait for another week to a month and BG is gonna buff the boss spawns even further. Another thing which I would love to talk about is Lightkeeper because everybody been extremely quiet about it. Some people are progressing through the quests like ticks and vibing their very high level. And as soon as we get some news, as soon as they unlock Lightkeeper, I will try to make a video about that. So stay tuned. I also just realized how much trash I have in there. Uh, and with all with, with the new camera, you can actually see it. I promise I will clean it one day. Um, maybe, maybe not. So yeah, those were all the news for today. I appreciate your stay. I hope I made your day a bit better. You learned something new. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.